For this content layout, we've got some hover boxes that would link out to a particular page. So you'll notice when you hover on it, it's got a flip switch where you changing the colors from dark to light and light to dark. And then there's a little arrow which you also probably want to change the color for. So let's look how this is done. Uh, you'll notice there's three components to one of these boxes and that's the front part, the back part and the little divider. The front part we're going to change the colors there in just a moment. The back part which is the hover component, the only way to change that is in the custom CSS which you've got the file of. I'll show you where to change that in a moment so let's go and take a look. So let's see there we'll just keep the font the same and the text the same let's switch to design so we've got a dark color uh, if we're going to change these colors you want to stick with a similar format so i'm just going to change this to another dark green and we'll do the same with the body text there we go and we need a quick look in the advanced settings. I don't think there's anything there. No, we're good to go. Let's do a quick preview. There we go. You can see that's changed there. Uh, product creation. Right, so that would be the first bit. Next, we want to change the divider or that divider color can stay the same. If you wanted to change it, you can just change the color over there. That's quite simple. Uh, obviously it needs to work with the rest of the items uh, again it flips so let's have a look at this one um, let's see so there's a link you can then link out to the page that you want to link to if you're selling a service or anything in particular that you want to link to for the client then we've got design yeah we've got header text color um, I don't think any of this is set let's have a quick look so yeah, that appears to be white in this case. We'll just leave that for the moment because we're going to change the other colors. You'll see in a moment where we're gonna do that and nothing here. So let's leave that one. Then we'll quickly run an update. Let's reload the page and see what we've got. So now what we wanna change is this little arrow color over there and then the hover color for the box uh, to a dark green as well on hover and for that we need to go to the master color changer document here we've commented it out for you clearly so we've got the arrow color we've got the content hover color and we've got the box hover color so in this instance they're all white um, let's go with the um, green that we had there in a moment we'll do the same for the body content and then the box hover color is a dark color um, we'll do that as well I'm just thinking about it now probably the colors that I'm using won't show up that well on the dark background so I'm gonna take a light green color we'll do that with the text over here and also with the content hover color there and then we can just copy this and then we want to paste it into the page specific CSS box. Let's do that. Let's save, update and then we can reload the page. There we go. Arrow, underline, hover color, everything changed. That's how you do this one. Thanks for watching.